Hello. It is one Wednesday. Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. It's going to be nice and quiet for this recording because my dogs are at the groomers. I dropped them off at 8. They'll probably they probably got another hour to go before they get back here because I noticed there was one dog already on the table, half cut, so it's going to take them a while to get done. So here we are with a little update, middle of the week. I like this idea of having middle of the week updates as to what I'm doing. And today it's most, I think today it's just knitting. I'm doing, <laughs> as an aside, I will just contradict myself and say, I've been doing a lot of machine embroidery because I've got my um, new Bernina up and running and doing um, a Hoop Sisters embroidery that I started on my brother machine during the summer. It was a mystery, a mystery uh, project. It's, I'll call it a quilt, but it's more like a wall hanging size and it's floral. It's very beautiful. Hoop Sisters really do a nice job in designing um, embroidery quilted items. So I'm doing a lot of that, but I'm not going to include that today, except for what I just talked about. What today is about is my 52 weeks of dishcloths. Um, so last week, we, was week two, we're in week three. A quick recap is Loganberry, then the half and half. No, it wasn't the half and half. Loganberry, I showed you, that was week one. Week two was the slant, and I had started it. So here's the slant complete. Kind of cute. It's a big one. The slant actually finishes at, um, I think it's 10 and a half inches square. 10 and a half inches square. I like this one. And this is that I can't, I can't believe it's cotton or something, the, the Happy Lobby one. And this one's really soft. This one probably be nicer as a face cloth, but, or a washcloth. So that's an idea. That one's finished. So week two complete. Week three the week we're in, the next, the next, uh, um, dishcloth is, this again is from my book, uh, from, uh, Knit Picks, the 52 weeks of washcloth, dishcloths, a knit, I love to say this part, a knit pick kitchen spectacular. Okay. Week three, Mrs. Hunter's, Mrs. Hunter's picture of it. I love this one. This is Hunter's. I'll just read you the little blurb under it. It's by Emily Guys. This sunny dishcloth is based on an easy Shetland lace pattern named after a woman from one of the most prominent knitting families on the island and featured in Barbara G. Walker's indispensable book, A Treasury of Knitting Patterns. The goddess stitch border helps stabilize the lace. The finished measurement is nine inches square. Um, I'm using this, sh no, you know what I'm using? I'm using, I didn't bring it, but it's a lion, lion's brand cotton that's on the cone. I mean, I looked inside the cone and there was a, a label in there. So that's what I used, all cotton. And it's a cast on 42 stitches and you do the lace pattern. And once it's seven and a quarter inches long, you finish up with the garter. I finished week three. Things have been going well. <laughs> I like being on a schedule. A little bit of time on sewing, a little bit of time on knitting, a little bit of time on finishing things. It's working out great for me. It's this January. January. And here it is. Of course, I don't block these. I probably could to make it look just right. But that's the lace. And you know what? That's the front. And that's the back. But it looks equally as pretty. This one was a fun stitch because what this did was you knit, knit three, slip, and then bring the slip stitch over the three. And then when you do the reverse side, you purl three and uh, what do you call it? Yarn over. <laughs> Yarn over to get to make up for the extra stitch that you slipped. And uh, always seven inches knit every row for the border. I like this one. I did it in a little bit lighter color than what's in the picture. 
but I love the way the one in the picture looks. So here I am thinking I'm going to do this one over in a little bit of a ecru more than a natural. So that's kind of nice. So I'm ahead because week three is done and it's only Wednesday. So I'm looking for, I'm, I'm going to go to the next page, looking forward to the next one. Well, I'm not looking forward to it because I peeked at it. It's called the Starflower. And it's, it is knit, isn't it? The sweet dishcloth uses only a little of each color, making it a good choice to use up odds and ends, 10 inches in diameter. And it's, it's worth the knit picks, dishy. And yeah, DPNs, size eight DPNs, US eight DPNs. And I thought, I don't want a dishcloth that looks like that. But just as I picked up this book to start this uh, recording, I noticed how nice it looked under a plant. So, I don't know. This is for week four. I've still got some time before I have to start it. I could make it for that because if I give um, a set to my daughter, I can put a little note on this one saying, um, a, a, a plant doily or something like that and it's cotton so it's absorbent especially if you have it in one of these usually you have a pot inside this type of thing but they can sweat water and that would pick it up so that's still up in the air i'll let you know by next wednesday if i decide to do that one i've never knit anything <laughs> i've knit in the round but i haven't knit round before i have no idea what that's gonna i don't even know i didn't read it so, um, so that's that on the dishcloths. Can you see in back? I have my two sweaters. The one in the back is the Direco. I got to look up the print. Direco or Diresho. No, I'm going to call it direct Diresho. Here's what it looks like. Notice how it is kind of long. This woman has a normal torso. I am very short-waisted. Um, and when I put this on, this was coming way down on me. I should have noticed that. But, you know, I didn't. But the more you knit and the more, you know, or I probably should have noticed a lot of things. <laughs> I could have noticed the sketch and read the, read the measurements and really paid attention to it. Sometimes I just knit away. I just knit. And I should really pay more attention. So the size I made was... i got it set up right here somewhere. Cast on. I can't even tell. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. What size is the fifth one in? Size... One, two, three, four, five. Five. I don't know if I did the 46 or the 49. I might have done the 40. No, I did the 46 because it's five in. Okay. So the back length is pretty long. Um, 25 and three quarters. I, that's too long for me. I'm too short. See, this is, I have on the um, Ray Ray sweater. R-A-I-R-A-I. -A -A -I. If you watch... Um, skin cocaine that's where I saw this I saw her knitting this and I really like these stripes and I like this sweater this is a uh, cloud born um, wool fingering weight and these are all different scraps from different pairs of socks that I've made but what I did with this one too I I'm finding that I don't need it to go long because when you're short-waisted it really makes you look worse. Big busted, short waisted. So, until I lose some weight. But this one's, I really like this sweater and it went so fast and it fits. I think it fits good. And it, if you use a, a soft um, fingering like the Cloud Born, you don't know you have a sweater on. It doesn't, there's not one, one tinge of a pick. There's no pickiness, even though it's all wool. Anyway. Let me explain what I did. The DeRocho, the Dereco, <laughs> I have to have it in front of me. The Dereco is finished. I'm keeping it short sleeve. I cut off some stuff. I'll explain. I'll show it to you closer. And um, I'm keeping it short sleeves, and it's just a little shorter, and it looks better on me. 
the other one that's up there is the petite knit anchor anchor summer shirt here's what this looks like i mean that looks really cute but there's kind of like a lot of gathering there that if it goes down well it doesn't look i want mine to come to right about mid hip i guess so where i i'm at is 18 inches i think i should go about two or four inches more well let me i'll explain that i'll explain that right here yeah let me explain it i have to i have to <laughs> i have to stop touch screening my computer uh touching my screen because it's not a touch screen it's a new computer but it's not a touch screen my phone's touch my ipad's touch my camera's nothing my camera is even worse than my uh computer but let me stop this and go over there and give you a better look at those two sweaters here is the progress on my two sweaters the derocha Duro, dereco <laughs> i don't know why i call it the derecho or the dereco i have to think about how it's spelled to be able to talk about it this one's finished here's what i've done um, all the fit was good through here and I like the short sleeves. I thought I was going to add to the sleeves, but I need some of things. So the, what I mostly did was change the length of this, this sweater. And what I did was I took, I, the, the edging is, um, it's a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. I mean, no it's not. It's a knit a row, purl a row, knit a row, purl a row. <laughs> But what I had done is, the way this was made up, the back was much longer than the front. Whereas now, I have them almost the same. You can see there's only just a little bit more. Because I don't need all that extra stuff going around the back of me. Um, I, took out, I took out the edging, and I must have taken out about, oh, this much. Let's, how much is that? an inch and a half maybe two inches out of what was here and also this went down a lot longer previously I there was five rows that I didn't do when I redid the bottom so I just put it on and it's good I like it, it looks a little crooked on the hanger but it looks really good I only have one end to tie I didn't want to <laughs> break the yarn off in case I wanted to take it all off again but I've tried it on it's great I like it so this is good I have something done that I like now this one is the anchor and I just put it on my bobber cords bobber cord because I have one that's very long you see this one is a two I think it's a two extra large. I think that's what the size of this one is. And um, from the top of the neck down, what I'm doing is I have done any shaping or whatever has had to happen within this sweater. And right now I'm just stocking it in the round down till it, the for that size, it says to bring it to 23 and a quarter inches, I believe. I'm at about 18 inches now, just about 18 inches from here down I've got 18 and you know what when I tried it on even though this looks like it's up a little higher it's kind of close to the way the Direco fits the Resho fits so um, I'm not going 23 if this is 18 I'm doing maybe 20 maybe another two or four inches I don't know I'm gonna do two or three inches and try it on again because I'm telling you these bobble cords are great um, if you don't know what, I'll, I'll explain what these bobber cords are back at my desk so that, because I that's where I have the rest of them so I can show you what they are more easily. But I really like the way this one fits up top here. I didn't know how nice this would look, but this, this, this yoke looks nice. Um, and I like the color of this one better than this. They are both the Remix Light from Barocco. So that's the progress on those two sweaters. Um, one done, one almost done, and it's at a place where it's real easy to just keep knitting when you want to watch movies or something. Right now I'm watching Vera on BritBox. I'm only up to um, season four, I think, because I love a good mystery. So there are my sweaters. 
I like this January getting everything done. That's what I'm doing. I'm going through everything, getting as many things done as I can. When I was showing you my sweaters, I, I mentioned the bar record. Um, I got these from Skein Knit Shop in East Greenwich in Rhode Island. And I don't know why they call them Baba Quads. I think because this company's name is The Knitting Baba, TKB, because on the back it says TKB Quads. Uh, there's 160 inch, 230 inch, and the color I chose was mauve. Mauve, mauve. So I have the 60 inch cord in the sweater right now. That's all that's in the sweater right now. They feel like hollow gimp. No, well, gimp isn't round. It's a hollow cord. I think I've talked about these before. It's a hollow cord that looks like shoestring licorice. And if you got red ones, and I had a kid here, they'd probably try to eat it. Um, they come in all different colors. So that, oh, and look at this. I had these needles on that sweater. What is wrong with me? No wonder I never wanted to pick it up and knit it. They're size six. And look at that, a 16 inch. I, <laughs> I'm going to go get some other needles to finish that because this was ridiculous. No wonder I never wanted, it was in a bag for the longest time. And this was why. I'm going to check. See those boxes that I have up there in the closet? That's where I store my needles now. Let me show you. Um, each box has a size on it. Here are my size sixes. And I mustn't have a lot. Wait a minute. What size is this? I have, I have needles. I don't have to go get needles. What was I thinking? US 6. I have the Knitted's Pride Dreams. I have the Clover. I've got a 29 inch. I have a 40 inch. I've got the Zing 40 inch. I've got a bunch of DKs. So this is my latest and I, I keep my I keep my packages. Let's see which one do I have. I think I'll do the Knitted's Pride. Yeah. I'm going to use the Knitter's Pride. That was wrong with me, why I never changed over. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. All right, so I put these little stickers on for, for the uh, numbers of this. And this contains all my size sixes when I'm organized. And you can see it goes from one through six, seven, eight, nine. I think it goes from one through ten. The bigger needles I have are not, I don't have many have any needles bigger than that except for this the straight the the um traditional knitting needles straight needles not circular and those are in a nice knitting um those i keep in a case i should be talking about bobble cords i know do you ever wonder how i always have things near me <laughs> I didn't plan on talking about this. I have a little knitting basket in the living room that, you know, the old fashioned that kind of have legs and they have the tapestry on it. I have this tapestry. It opens up and you can carry it around. I don't use it that much, but this stuff, it's, it's gem packed, but, and this matches it. It was a set. I bought it when I used to work at Windsor Button Shop when my daughter was 18 months old and she's nearly 40 and still looks like in pretty good shape. So if I ever need some straight, I have those Susan Bates Teff. These were my favorite. I bought all these needles when I didn't knit. That's because I worked in Windsor Button. But then I bought these needles, stuff like this, when that, I forgot. You know, when I said I've been knitting for four years, I knitted whenever it was when we had all those crazy novelty yarns and people were making those scarves. Because it was only knit, 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 or knit and pearl. And I could always knit and pearl. I just couldn't make garments. So I have these heavy-duty ones from those days, I think. Wow. I don't 
Oh, we even made these. US 17. Okay, so this, this is what I used to do. Afghan hook, Afghan crochet. You would make panels about this wide and just crochet grids, like a grid, like Ada cloth. And, uh, but it was knit into these little grids. And then you did counted cross stitch on wool. I used to love to do that, but those were major projects. It's funny, I don't have any of those things left. I didn't save stuff, I always gave stuff away. So anyway, this is where I put, hmm, these are good. These should probably all go together. Well, anyway, this is where I, I keep anything that's over a 10 in here. I don't just keep everything at my feet all the time. I just happened to have that box here because I had searched for something. Who knows what? Yesterday, I think I was trying to find the barber cord. The reason I'm doing this little segment here is to talk to you about the barber cord. Okay, the barber cord. The knitting barber. Bobble cords come in a nice little tin. They roll up. They fit in here. And what you do is when you have your needles in your garment, you just take these little cords and you stick them because they're hollow onto the point of your needle. You don't have to push it very far. It goes on very easily and it adapts to the size of that. And doesn't it almost look like in this picture, like you uh, have um, circular needles like Chai Gu? <laughs> you know, they have the red lace. Well, you, you put that on and then you just slowly pull your needle out of your garment. And as you do, this cord, and I've got the, what, what did I say? 60 inch one in there right now. I'll do it at the bottom of that. Yeah, the 60 inch one in there which is why it's gone all around the bottom and I could turn, put it on, I could put it on. And um, then you do the opposite when it's time to um, put it back on your, put, put it back on your needles. You again, stick this in for what's sticking out of the sweater and just um, pull it through again. <laughs> and, then, and then the needle comes, you pull in the opposite direction so that the needle comes through. And you can give it a pretty good tug. I mean, I try not to tug it too hard. And you don't have to, except for getting this, you know, getting this part through. But I just bunch it up, push it over. So those are the, that's the barber cord I was talking about. I think I paid $15 for these, maybe. You get three cords and you know, if they weaken at the edge, get loose or whatever, you can just snip them. Which, you know, if something happens at the end, you can snip them. They might only be 59 and three quarters long after that. And then 59 and a half until you wear them all out. But I, I haven't had any break or even um, split or anything like that. Just keep them in the tin. Those are the papa cords. back okay so i'll be back next wednesday with um my progress as to what i've accomplished during the week and i'm probably going to start something new if i can finish the um, anchor summer shirt i will probably start something new in knitting i've got a lot of things that i want to start <laughs> i want to start painting bricks and i have I have some colors for that the background color being this that's all toad hollow i uh was watching the knitters league and saw that one of them was knitting this and i happened to have a pattern and i don't know sometimes i just like to knit little animals as you know i did the snowman at christmas but the baby yoda is very very cute <laughs> look at that that's where the arms the arms are like knit into the shawl i love it i might start that uh, there was a free pattern the other day for snowbird socks by Chit Chat Knits and it's uh, um, DK weight DK weight socks and it was free so I downloaded it but um, I have I don't have a lot of DK weight um, leftovers to be able to do those 
chevrons, what do you call them, chevrons, uh, stripes. So what I might do is start a DK weight um, pair of socks that are just plain using this pattern. I don't know, that, that might be something I start. Those are three things I have in mind. We'll see. Thanks for watching me today. Stay warm, although today's a little warmer than yesterday, isn't it? Let's see. 31 degrees right now at, I don't know what time it is. I'm updating my phone, it's not. Nope, it's up to 38. That was at earlier this morning. It's now 38 degrees, but it's very windy. So I walked on the treadmill rather than walking outside. Too cold. My feet get cold. Even though today, though, I have my wool socks on, so they should stay warm today. I digress. I could do this forever. All right, let me stop here, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye now.